G'day guys, welcome to another video. We're back here in Australia now. I'm getting my head around the jet lag. Cause yeah, when you're here, you fly back to Australia, jet lag can hit you pretty hard. Probably hits you harder on the way over than it does on the way back. Anyway, I want to sort of tackle something. It's kind of dumb to tackle at this point. It's after lunch on a Wednesday afternoon. I leave first thing tomorrow morning to go be a, an official recovery car for a big race event that's coming up, which is very similar to like a King of the Hammers style event. Now, one thing I really want to do to my Suzuki for a while um, is put the rear radiator in it. I've got the rear radiator over here. That's my rear radiator. Oh, well, well that's what planned to be the rear radiator. It's actually SR20 radiator with uh, electric fans. Problem I have with my current Suzuki, radiator is not big enough and the stock clutch fan doesn't spin hard enough to actually like cool the car. So uh, I want to have a look and see how realistic it is to get this radiator on the Zook and get it working. Fingers crossed I can make it happen. Uh, I have uh, braided hoses for a rear radiator setup out of my S13 was the original setup that I had. The, the hoses will definitely be long enough. I might have to go and get some fittings to weld on. We're gonna back it down here, have a look at things, see if we can make it happen. If we can, that'll be really cool. If we can't, at least we gave it a go. All right, I got too excited and just fabbed like crazy. And honestly guys, pretty freaking proud of myself. If I do say so myself. Um, I don't know why I didn't film. I just got so excited and was just in the zone and got it done man check this out got some brackets welded this bar in welded the bar across the bottom radiator is in nice and doit i'm um, still undecided i may turn it around i'm going to suss it right now if i can turn it around um because i'm just not really because obviously it's better if the radiator pulls instead of pushes the air honestly the air back here wouldn't even matter if it pulled that's a good point. Like, I'm crawling this thing around. It's depending on its fans. So realistically, air would come over the car and if anything, it would suck through. So I don't think it actually matters whether I push or pull. Um, well, I want it to pull, but I don't think it matters what, what way the radiator is pointing. I actually realized if I turn this around, this is probably gonna sit like here and be in the way of that. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Um, I'm going to go find some fittings that I can weld onto here. Well, not I. I can go see Frosty and he can weld onto there. I do have stuff for a TIG essentially. I just don't have TIG gas. I do want to start learning how to TIG, but for right now, uh, I don't have the time. So, yeah, pretty stoked on this design anyway. It's uh, pretty cool looking. These are actually some uh, GK Tech brackets off a rear cradle setup. Um, I'll uh, the reason I've left the plastic on is so I can give it all a lick of paint. Um, very, very happy. Only thing is, like, to take the radiator out of here, I do have to sort of bend the tab up to do it. I was going to do, like, a rib nut setup and all that, but I really don't have time to bugger around, and I'm pretty happy with these little dime bags here. So, not bad. Still jet lagged. I leave tomorrow morning to do on this full driving trip. I don't know if I'm gonna get this rear radiator set up finished. It's kind of dumb to be trying to right now. But even if I leave it like this and go get all the fittings, so it's ready to go, at least this bit is done. I'll leave it wrapped in plastic on the back of the car uh, for the whole event. And then when I get back, I can go ahead and get that all sorted out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go buy some fittings and see if I can get this done today. All right, so guys, you know I got stuck into getting the rear radiator situation sorted. I gave up. Um, so you're not going to see the full driving content in the next video. You're going to see it this one. So I've just left it on the back of the car. Um, still wrapped in plastic, so it'll be fine to sit there for the weekend. And we're going to head out to this full drive park now. We've just driven past, and there's a pub. Country pub out here in the middle of nowhere. And it does a brekkie that opens at 7 a.m. And um, I reckon that's the go. We're going to suss it out because 7 a.m. brekkie. I got my swag. That's going to be sleeping in for the weekend. We got our tents. Got Esky and stuff. My fridge in here. Got everything. We're pretty well ready to go. We're going to stop for one of these. Uh, it's a country pub 
breakfast at the pub, which sounds freaking amazing to me. So we'll have a geezer. Where are we? We are at Manor Park doing off-road outlaws. All right. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go? <laughs> do you really need to get this on video? <laughs> I've been real, real busy, so I've no idea what's going on. I know I'm helping out with recovery. When someone's upside down, we put them the right way up. Basically, yeah. I mean, if, if they're not on four wheels, see if they need help. As soon as they go, yep, recovery. You get in there, you roof them over, off, off you Do we get to charge them a beer and recovery? Or? I think that's a given, isn't I think, it? I think that's a rain check because they're not allowed beer in the car. Oh. <laughs> no, like at, at camp at night. Yeah. Oh, fucking oath. Fuck yeah. yeah. Get it I over remember there. that time I rolled you over that yeah, couple yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. That, payment, thank you. That's a carton. Yeah, so. yeah that's a carton. All right, we're going sign on and then prologue? Yeah, prologue. And so, that, is that so all here? So it's prologue. So there's the actual loop here. That's where it starts. They start there, do the fucking run around here and then they go up here and out the back and yep. they run around. All the action will happen there. There's actually a lot of dozer marks over here. Yeah. They've had the, the big dozer D6s and stuff digging holes in the, in the hill. Yeah, sick. So it's, it's going to be a good It's going to get spicy. It's going to get spicy, so we're going to be good. All right, sick. So, all right, where do I go? So all the gear here, it's pretty good, eh? Oh, it's pretty big. It's, it's good to see the amount of money that people are putting into cars that actually make them perform really well. A lot of variety, a lot of like, Better everything. Yeah. It's weird. People look at my truck. Yeah. Like that's the, probably the smallest thing you'll see here today and it's still <laughs> a very capable car. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go sign on and then uh, get ready to uh, go and recover. All right, guys, we're in. We're all signed on, getting set up for recovery. We just we're, had a... We're official. We're officially official. Yeah. Watch the mud. That's mud. That's mud. Yeah. So I've already driven most of the way around the course. This is one of the drops. Uh, Andrew? <laughs> Shit. <Hello>. Just... <laughs> you can't even climb up. You reckon you're going to drive up this? No. <laughs> you're going to winch up it? I second guessed it. I was like, I got walked over and I this is really, really tall. Yeah. Yeah, that's bloody tall. And they're coming down that. They have to come down it. Oh, come well, down. you're not going up it either. Nah. At least, it, at least it's soft mud for you to land upside down in. It's not, it's not an up track. There's no way. Like, I looked at it, I'm like, mmm, and then you walk over and it's like over your head. Yeah, no, it's well and truly over your head. But yours is a, you've got a competition high lock, so it can but do like anything. like you said, you're going to jump off it. <laughs> you're I, don't, I don't have a good winch. And <laughs> <to do that laughs> shit. You're going to jump off it with your high locks. That's all right, we've got, we've got winches, we can pull yeah, you back. I don't have a king's winch. I don't have shock valving, what do you, what do you <laughs> need shock valving? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to uh, wait. It's only prologue today, so they're not racing. They're practice. just basically doing a practice slash recce. If you're in no rally, rally, recce, you get to see the course before you hit it fast, which tomorrow morning, are they doing their prologue here as well? Yeah, so this will be prologue qualifying for the actual enduro. Yeah, so this and will be interesting when they're hitting this fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In so a hurry. They're going to be in a hurry. There's, there's lots of shit up there to unsettle Slippery it. gravel and it's, big rocks there too. I feel like today is going to blow this out a lot. The, 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 the lip's not going to be there. Oh, the I would definitely like the to be one of the last cars. Definitely not yeah, the first. that's what I mean. So as soon as they, pro, they prologue it, then it's going to be completely blown out for tomorrow morning. I feel like in a buggy, I'd just try and rail slide that 
ledge or something. You've got to launch it. There's, yeah. there's no going slow on that, otherwise you're just going to get arsed over. So mm. We might see a flip. I we'll see. Not. I reckon someone's going to dig in the front. That's, oh, 100%. That's what I, I, mean. I wouldn't drive my Zook down it. No oh, way. No. Nah. With a rope on the back, hook something up to me. Yeah. And lower me down. Otherwise, I'm, I don't have that much confidence. <laughs> my wheelbase is a bit too short. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell me things about this. This is hey. your brainchild, isn't it? It is, yes. You just copy the Americans. Oh, look. No. <laughs> I'm yeah. just, just messing with you. They have a good thing. They do, they do. Um, basically, my name's Matt. I basically, myself and my wife started Off-Road Outlaws Enduro. Um, what we wanted to create was uh, an event where individual cars can shine in different categories. So we have multiple stages, all with a cash prize pool that separates those stages. So there is no overall winner. So oh, developed right. around... If you've got a winch truck that's absolutely hell at winching, right, you can come and just do the winch stage and you're just in contention for that prize pool. But hell, if you want to have a go at the drag strip as well, you can have a go at the drag strip. If you've got a nuts full drive with a huge amount of horsepower and all you want to do is a drag strip, you can just do the drag strip. Or if you've got an ultimate car that can do absolutely everything, you come and enter every single event. That's the plan is basically just showcase what your car can do at each stage. Yeah. And there's like, obviously there's winners for each thing, but is there an overall as well? There's no overall as well. The hardest part with an overall, obviously we've got say a drag race stage, we've got a rock stage. How do we score that against a six hour enduro Absolutely. where that car's yeah. just battled for six hours? So that's why we went individual prizes. Um, it's a pretty decent prize pool. It's $50,000 in cash and prizes. $20,000 of that is just straight cash. Um, so pretty cool for an off-road event. There's not many events in Australia that you can pull that prize pool, um, especially when there's only one class. And for first time. Yes. Your first time event. Yes, so first that's event. pretty killer. Um, so yeah, pretty keen. This thing's going to grow. Um, 40, obviously, 40 competitors? 42 cars on the 42, track. 42, yeah. Plus the 10 invitational rock crawlers. We have the 10 best rock crawlers in the country here. Oh, it's um, pretty here? Critty's here. Oh, I didn't know Critty was coming. Yeah, Drag Tech will be here. <laughs> yeah. uh, Matty Bond from Bond Racing's here. You've got Benji from Ramped Customs. You've got Christini from Ultimate Rock Sports. Oh, my old Zook might be coming. you got lots of different cool cars coming here. Cool. Um, as you can see behind us, we've man-made some of the obstacles. Oh, I oh, know. We sat the boys in front of that before to realise how much of a drop that is. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's the yeah. Aussie backdoor, just yeah. like Hammers. There's be, going to be some people getting backdoored there, that's for there sure. There will be. By their wives after the roofs all caved yeah. and then trying to fix a car overnight. I mean, Simon's a World Rally Championship driver and I mean, he said he's going to jump it, I heard. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> In a short wheelbase buggy, I reckon that might okay, be the way. What were those words? Yeah, I have a long wheelbase. Was that fuck me? This is my co driver <laughs> He seems stoked. Yeah, this is the first time in the car. So, what is a, what is a plan for something like that? <laughs> I, that's why I come. Everyone tells me it's nasty. Uh, if you walk Are we over going there, up or down it? Down just down. down. Just down. Yeah, it's it's well over your head. Like, that's not too bad. It, it doesn't look bad from here. You go up to it, it looks way better, way, way worse. Worst case, gravity will help you. Oh, yeah. oh you'll, get, <laughs> you'll get to the bottom fast. Just depends about how you get to the bottom gravity. fast. Normally, gravity's trying to bite you. This one's helping you.
Alright guys, I've resorted back to phone because GoPro's flat, Andrew's getting some filming for me, but it's been buck wild here. This is just prologue, this is the recce, this is not time, this is not nothing. This is literally just drive the course, feel it out. We've already had obviously that one on its roof that you guys just saw, a pretty, pretty full on situation. That's that 40, which I'll put another clip of here. Completely airborne, like off his front wheels. Basically a nose wheelie to nolly pop, like ridiculous. Like I just haven't seen anything like that, like from a car in person. You know what I mean? That was like- It was definitely a, a sight to see. You would have to be here to see that. And I definitely am glad I'm here to see that because that was gnarly. Yeah, we were going to be coming up later too. Like yeah. I'm glad we came up as early as we did to be able to even, you know, because we won't really necessarily need to be here today. So we thought no. we'll get it here late and just be sweet. Glad we came when we did. Yeah, jet lag has actually worked in my favor where I've been getting up really early fairly easily. So yeah, I was awake at five. Yeah. I tried to get an extra half an hour sleep before we go and my body was just like, nah, you're waking up. But yeah, having a bit of fun. Obviously, I had a little bit of a drive around before. Didn't really film it, but we drove through this section over here pretty pretty easily really with these zook yeah most of the tracks actually not too bad it's pretty cruisy for most there's of it. just... nothing that's hard except for that scary ass drop and the rock that's just there with the tree yeah, but that's i don't think that's hard it's more technical because you gotta go slower trying to get around smoothly i think it's the longer wheelbase stuff is the drama yeah yeah so i've actually had an advantage there with the zook because the zook the shorter wheelbase gets over it kind of easy i just didn't time my turn very well when i went over it because i had to do one reverse and then go yeah. um but having a lot of fun uh, i do have an air leak in my locker airline for the front of my car so oh, i don't on, have a front air locker at the moment um Bobby. but definitely when we get the chance we're going to have a little play and have a look around the place a little bit more but really cool park yeah, manor park roger that so de dealing with the usual thing with rally any event like this you're dealing with stupid people that don't comprehend the fact that a car can stuff up don't send cars just yet and wipe you out so hey, Ross, have you got a copy <laughs> jump <laughs> Rockin' a hard place.
fall off. It's not bad. Mm. Stay there. Oh, not bad. You're about to fall off. Right, day two. You tell me the plans, mate. Day two. So, um, what's the time now? Just jam a camera in your face. We're yeah. fucking it's seven o'clock. I gotta stop swearing on camera. It's um, fine. We're, yeah. we're far enough into the video where you can swear. <laughs> we're not monetized yet. <laughs> yeah. no, we're past the. After 10 minutes, they don't really care if you swear. Really? Ooh, there we not go. Not as much, anyway. Oh, so no one's reviewing that sort of stuff? No, nah, they only watch the first 10 minutes. Yeah, All right, what are fuck we doing? Fuck yeah. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> we're meant to be over there at 7 o'clock, which is just four minutes away, so we'll just cruise over there. Um, and then they're going to start actually So today's like race. So, you know so yesterday, we... yesterday, where they were taking timidly off the ledge. Yes, so <laughs> now, now they're actually going to put some effort in and hit it with their purse. Yeah. And there's going to be some accidents. So, yesterday we had a guy go out in a care flight helicopter. So, yeah. So, that, that front flip you guys did see, um, I think the bloke had his belt a little bit loose or something and did hit his head and had the pain. So, as a cautionary, they did actually fly him off in a helicopter. So, yeah. so not what you want to see. Everyone on the internet, tighten your harnesses up. Otherwise, you get head punched in the roof with your helmet. Yeah. It doesn't work. All right. So. We'll go over to briefing, watch some racing. Some qualifying. You qualifying. Let's do this. All right. Little Zuki, fire up. Fire up. All right, recovery team. We got a coiled, like solid axle front Triton with us. So I think it's a GU front axle and stuff. Chip flip GU axle, yeah. Yeah, in Triton on 37s. No, 35s. 37s. 37s. 37s 37. as well. Yeah, KMC B block. Oh, it's got hydro bumps in and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's Saw that. All spicy. Yeah. So uh, we got more recovery vehicles with us today because today is race day. So it's going to be pretty hectic out here. I'm actually looking forward to it. Hopefully, no one gets hurt though. Obviously, you don't mind seeing a little tumble here and there, but when um, people are getting flown off in helicopters, it obviously sucks, but it's all part of it. So hopefully, it'll be all good and it's just a cautionary thing. But uh, today's gonna be real spicy. Like people are gonna be hitting the jump with speed. Like there's gonna be all kinds of good stuff, eh? Yeah, people are actually gonna be trying to set a time down, so they're gonna be going fast. Yeah. Well, people might be strategic with it as well. It might not be a good idea to start first. You know, there might yeah. it might be people sandbagging. Some people be sending. Like uh, maybe they give extra points. We don't know. There yeah. might be extra points for. We'll have to ask, Matt. Yeah, I, I think people will be sending it just because then you get the better air, you won't get stuck behind slower drivers, all that kind of stuff. That's a good point, yeah. But, and it will be better for video, so I'm hoping the crowd pumps <laughs> them up and they fucking send it. Yeah. So, again, I don't think the, the entirety of the crowd will be out here yet. Like, the, obviously, Saturday's the main day with the big enduro. Yeah. Am I wearing this inside out? I am. Yeah, yeah you got inside out. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, uh, Tiana needs to dress you, we'll keep, keep you guys up to date throughout the day. Um, we'll, we'll mix this one, day one and day two into one video, and then day three and day four into another. Andrew? All of the air. Needs more go. Needs more go. Needs a turbo on that mang. Oh yeah, or an LS, would fix all the problems. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That thing sounds so good. Matt, copy, copy on start line.
if they had us to G them up the whole way around the track, oh. <laughs> they'd be doing heaps better, I reckon. Yeah. So a lot of people being very timid and then when it gets to the jump right in front of us and we're all waving our arms at them, it seems to give them that extra bit of uh, bad influence. <laughs> sometimes works out for people, sometimes doesn't. We should have brought a sign saying just up our seat. <laughs> have to make one. <laughs> Big dip too, about 75. All right, that is it for the prologue. Prologue that was called, wasn't it? Yeah, prologue's now finished, so now everyone will get a time and that you be your position for your enduro. So, we're gonna go back because I forgot my sunglasses. Maybe grab a little bit to eat. I'm not actually that hungry, but I probably need to grab some food. And um, yeah, see what else goes on today. It's been pretty fun. Yeah, it has been. Definitely, as you guys have just seen, a few little wild drives there going on, so bloody cool. All right, so we're currently out doing um, a reconnaissance of the course right now. Course is about 30 k's long, so we're doing a massive lap of this course, uh, basically fixing all the bunting that's been broken off by cows and all kinds of stuff. We weren't filming, but there's a really spicy drop off back there, which uh, Andrew squealed a little bit. Just a little bit, I was scared. Yeah, it was gnarly, honestly. Um, definitely not as gnarly as the other one, but definitely scary. I'm, I'm kind of glad we didn't do the big one that if that was small. The harnesses are on, boys. Alrighty, so we've made our way out bush. Oh no, look, I'm missing a piece. Oh no. Missing a piece of my three-footed monster. That's not ideal. Probably in the car somewhere. Vibrations will do that. Um, anyway, this is um, one of their tracks. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to go and get any food or drink. We had to bust out and get on the tracks. So. We have some water, no cokes. We have water, it's all warm because it's oh, on the yeah. floor. Yeah. And we have just been ripping for 40 minutes at least. I'd, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Definitely, we've done about 30 k's just of just bush bashing. A little ring in its neck. Yeah, poor little car over there is having a hard time. No, it loves it, loves it. Anyway, so they're actually coming down from up there, which is pretty freaking gnarly. We're just going for a walk. They're actually driving down this creek towards our car. They're going down and continuing along the river, then left up out of it. So this is pretty much going to be where we're going to hang around and, you know, potentially do recoveries and stuff. Going for a walk now to see where they could potentially get into trouble while also watching out for any snakes and things because you're bit by a snake out here, you're in trouble. So yeah, just keeping a good eye out and uh, yeah. Jesus, this is pretty gnarly, eh? Like for an enduro, I feel like this is definitely some gnarly tracks. Like this is where they're coming through, here somewhere. So, should be cool. Now you know you're in Australia. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> that is a big bastard. And you know what? The first car that comes through here gonna hit it. is gonna end up with that on their roof. Oh, thank God we came the other way. Oh, I'm barefoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm running faster than you are. So even here is tricky, right? So they're coming down here. Obviously you gotta go around this tree or if you're keen, you smash straight down here. You wouldn't though, like that's just, you're in trouble I reckon. Yeah. Jesus. We've seen some people do some sketchy things today, so you never know, you, they might. I reckon our watching spot for the start of it is gonna be over there. I, I, I like that idea, yeah. this is getting interesting. But even like where they first come down, which you can't see that well from here, like geez, it's a bit gnarly, eh? They've definitely thrown everything at these guys to see how they go. With so it. this track that we're on now goes straight across and then 
it's yeah so they're coming straight down seriously gnarly straight down hard right along this track u-turn even as a u-turn it's a prick yeah it's definitely gonna be cool they need a spectator section here well we're here we're gonna bring you guys all the footage we can this morning well this afternoon um absolutely like Footage never puts things into perspective, but this is fucking gnarly. We've been doing a lot of four driving throughout both of us, and this is next level. Yeah. How many people are doing this course? We don't know. All, All. I think. Well, so everyone that did prologue ha will have to do this plus extras. So we had 40 people that did prologue this morning, and then we're going to have extras on top of that that didn't want to do prologue. So it's going to be a fair few people run through in here. Yeah, right. All right, we'll stick around and uh, get back to you guys when it kicks off. I know I said get back to you when the cars are here, but we've walked up to the other bit. So we're coming straight down here, and I can't express enough how steep this is already. You got a bunch of loose boulders, and you got to make a 90 degree right hander here, and that is so far down, like so far down, super steep, nothing to catch you. That's what, that's what freaks me out. Super steep, slippery, grass all over the rocks, loose rock, a 90 degree right that has six feet. Well, you're gonna have a lot of interesting times because I was just saying, your back tire is gonna be on that rock up there and you're gonna be turning with your nose so close. To oh, your passenger, because left hand, right hand drive in Australia, obviously. So your passenger is here looking down there being like, I wish there was way more trees. And That's the thing, you want more trees to stop you. Oh, 100%. And like the one turning section that is here, no trees. You go 10 meters that way, big trees to save you. So the way you turn is the most dangerous part. It's yeah. gonna be cool. Yeah, look, I'm glad I didn't turn down here with the Zook. I don't, definitely don't trust the Suzuki's brakes enough. Yeah. And it's hard, it's one of those things where like, ah oh, man, I just, I hope everyone's safe. Um, I don't wanna be making calls about, what do we say, that seven and up is yeah. bad. Yeah, seven and up is bad. Nine or ten is life, like get yeah. here with a helicopter sort of stuff. Yeah, so we do have a pretty important job here. Like I said I'll try to film what I can, but there's times when shit might get gnarly. But Hopefully not. This way too, we're looking at it on virgin land. There's six hours of this tomorrow, dry, every, of people just driving well, this That's what I'm loop. interested to see how, like I can just see loose boulders everywhere and the big tree root there. The thing is, the more and more that gets chewed up, the worse it's going to be. It's going to get terrible. And, and the red mist in race mode tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's just gonna be gnarly. And this whole riverbed is, is a sick track on its own, and which is say, quite cool. I'd say there was probably 10 to 15 Ks of actual fun driving here. So you'd be having a ball getting to here. And yeah, then blasting, going, cruising. Yeah. And then going, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. I am gonna wait for the cars to get here now. They could get here. We don't know when they're getting let go. We haven't heard anything on the radio. I think because we're so far down in the in the valley, that's going to be part of the issue as well, is getting to a point where uh, other officials can hear our radio and potentially relay it back to to the front. So we're in a, I feel like we're in a pretty high pressure environment now, to be honest. I'm a little like, bit stressed. Yeah. Um, just fingers crossed everyone's safe, but it is definitely gnarly. Just trying to bring that across in video because it's always so hard to just like, show how gnarly something is. All right, we have our first car. I can hear them. Um, they're about to turn right into the, the valley bit where we're concerned about. Here we go. I don't know if we can see it on the camera. Here we go. I hope my camera can see it. See, sound slippery even. Pretty capable truck. Yeah. These guys are going to take out the big spider.
I will admit though, well, it wasn't as bad when he came down the first person to come down than we thought. No, so, but it's going to chew up. Oh yeah, it was one person. <laughs> Come on mate, don't, don't block me track alright? <laughs> the all draw part is it? Yeah, oh, my, my Zook's just down there. Might be my cameras that are making everyone fuck up. Turn in early. Yeah, a lot of left. A lot of left, 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 left. We're going too far right now. That'll do a CV. That'll do a CV in these things. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't do that next time, Macca. That's what. That's how the CV went. That's the job. Good line. That's the best line I've seen through here. Good job. Beautiful. Thank you. 